Hello and welcome. Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about AssureSign and Documents Core Pack. And as most of you know, um, we've added an AssureSign integration to Documents Core Pack, and it, um, it works pretty seamlessly with your uh, Documents Core Pack that you have, um, and uh, just kind of handling the whole AssureSign process right out of CRM. And um, it's really, it's really simple. Uh, today, basically, what I want to show you is, uh, you know, just talk a little bit about uh, the whole setup process, uh, where you can find information on setting up um, a sure sign uh, for Documents Core Pack, um, and uh, also talk, uh, show you, um, uh, you know, kind of how to trigger the a sure sign process from um, from CRM using DCP, and uh, also talk a little bit about template design um, and show you how to do that. Uh, so the first thing I do want to talk about is the setup and where to find that documentation. Uh, basically, what you need to do is go to our blog, which is http um, colon slash slash blogs dot mscrm dash addons dot com. On that blog, you'll see a little um, a search. Uh, you just do a search for a sure sign, and uh, you want to look for the blog article titled uh, "Latest Feature: A Sure Sign for Documents Core Pack." Uh, that's basically going to walk you through the entire process, um, um, setting it up, setting up a sure sign for the CRM system, um, and uh, making sure that Documents Core Pack is all ready to go um, for, uh, for CRM. Um, so it's real simple. So just go to our blog and, and just do a search for that article. Uh, uh, the next thing I want to talk about is I uh, just kind of want to show you what the process is involved on, um, on uh, you know, uh, triggering that from CRM. So I'm going to basically go in here. I've already got a, uh, a template set up. So uh, basically it's a non-disclosure agreement. So let me just do a quick search uh, for my person here. Uh, go ahead and go over to that contact information, um, uh, the contact page. And then from here, basically, I'm going to trigger the assure sign process. Um, so it's always it's always the same here. Basically, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and uh, click on my Create Document button. Brings up my Documents Core Pack dialog. Uh, then from here, I want to pick uh, the AssureSign document here. Um, it's real important here with AssureSign uh, that you pick the correct uh, document here, whether for uh, that be for one signee, uh, two signees, etc. I have this one set up for one signee, um, so it's basically just going to go to uh, Howard Higley, and uh, he's going to uh, sign it and then get that back to me. So I'll just go ahead and click the Assure Sign doc that I already have here set up. Um, go ahead and click my Next button. It's going to read all that information out for me. Um, then uh, basically here, uh, what I want to do is check my uh, little box to attach the document. As an Assure Sign email, it'll show up there once you have it all set up. Um, set up the uh, the email recipient here. I pick it from uh, you know it's got all my information here, so I will pick Howard Higley, and then pick the email address. If there's multiple email addresses, you can send it to a, a different email address. But in this case, um, it's just going to go to this uh, particular email here. Um, once I'm uh, finished with that and I have everything set up how I want it, I'll just click my next button here. Um, it goes ahead and creates my document. And again here as uh, as normal here, I can come in here and, and, and preview my document here. Um, so this is basically where the, the person's going to sign here. Uh, once I'm done with that, I'll click Finish. Um, and then that starts the, uh, the Assure Sign process here. Um, so just wait a second here. And now, uh, let me just go ahead and pull up uh, my email here. Just one second, once it comes in. So I've got, just pull this over here so you can see it, just one moment. And here we go. So I have uh, an email from um, a sure sign here. So I'll go ahead and begin the signing process, signing process here. Um, loads everything up for me. Um, and then I just go through the assure sign process. So I'll go ahead and click continue here. Um, I can go ahead and preview the document. This is all uh, just standard, uh, uh, you know, a, a sure sign stuff here. So I preview it. Um, and then let's see, let's go ahead and uh, get on to my next page here. 
can download it if I want to. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I will agree to the terms and start signing. Uh, basically here, once I get in here, uh, it's got my uh, area where I'm going to be signing, so I'll just go ahead and sign here. Uh, really beautiful signature here. And then once I'm done with that, I click continue. Um, finish it up. And once that's finished, uh, then the whole process is then complete. So I can then download the document as a signee. Um, if I'd like, uh, but one nice little feature here is I'll just get this out of the way. Um, come back over here, and here in my uh, you know in my little drop down here, I can check out my AssureSign documents, um, and I can actually see uh, the progress of this. Uh, let me just uh, you know so lets you know uh, when things are completed, when they are signed. So I've got this one. Um, this is right in progress right now. It hasn't been kick back from DocuSign here, but I can go ahead and view that document if I want. Uh, again, download it if I want. So it's a real simple process. The nice thing about AssureSign is everything's right in there um, where you can definitely uh, where you can definitely see these things. Um, to create uh, AssureSign documents, basically what I'm going to do um, is that one particular document that I have, I'm just going to go ahead and open up and we're going to add a, uh, a second signee to that. So I'll just go ahead and open that template up. And let's see, I'll just pick the one that I have here already. So as you can see here, I've got uh, the uh, uh, the signature for the first person already inserted. Uh, what I want to do is go ahead and insert another signature block right here. So it's for two signees. I uh, just need to hit my MSCRM add-ons tab, um, insert mail merge fields, get down to the point here where I want to insert that field. Um, come right over here, uh, click my little... Uh, little drop down here and I'm going to insert an assure sign item I'm going to insert another signature so uh, that's pretty much all you have to do to get it in there now what we have to do is we have to make sure that we assign these two fields uh, the that they're for the correct signee um, so I can go ahead and come up here and click on my field um, click my field properties and make sure this is for the first signee so that's great uh, that's all good and then for my second signee here I'll go ahead and select my field properties. Um, this doesn't belong to signee one, so I'm going to add a new signee here, make it signer two. Um, there we go. So I can actually come in here and you know pick and choose which signee, what field belongs to which signee. <coughs> and then I'm going to click my OK button, and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's all I need to do. I just need to make sure that my fields are assigned to the right people. Um, and I can also insert here uh, some text if I want our, our signature field. Those are pretty much what I can do here with a sure sign right now. Um, once I'm done, I'm going to save that template back. Uh, I'm going to call this uh, two. All right. Call something different. Save it right on back. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm done. So I'll close that out. Close out Word. Um, come right on back into here and now uh, basically just start the process again except this time I'll do it for uh, for the two signees here um, so I'll just go ahead and click this for two signatures here that I want to get and as you can see here it's a little bit more so I just uh, you know attach the document as a sure sign email uh, the first person to sign will be Howard Higley uh, set it up uh, with the email that I want to send it to uh, the second person is going to be myself um, so there we go, I can set it up and pick uh, which whichever email that I want to send it to. Uh, so I'll pick that one, go ahead and click next, and it goes through the whole process again. This time though, I'm sending it around to both people to sign. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to write us at support at mscrm-addons.com. Ask any questions you got, uh, we'll be happy to answer those for you. Thank you very much.